Raiders, you got to talk about the fans yeah. because oh, yeah. you know that once a Raider fan, always a Raider fan. And the 93 year old Las Vegas woman is proving just how true that saying is. And tonight, a wish more than 60 years in the making will come true for her. So we have reporter Alyssa Bethencourt joining us live now outside of Legion Stadium to show us how. Alyssa, good morning. <laughs> Hey there, Kalina, Justin, good morning to you. Of course, we have tons of Las Vegas Raider fans here. We also have a lot of OG fans from their time in Oakland and their time in LA. But this morning, I'm pretty sure I'm introducing you to the greatest Raider fan of all. This is Helen and her daughter, Diane. Guys, good morning. Hello, good morning, good morning to you. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I know we're never supposed to ask a woman's age, right? We talked about this at 530, but Helen, you need to let the viewers know how old you are for the story. 90. 93 years old. Just well, turned I'm, 93. I'm working on four. Okay. <laughs> Amen to that. Let's talk about one thing, right? When she was growing up, there were no TVs around. So you became a Raider fan by listening to the radio. Yeah. Yeah. That all, all sports were on the radio unless you were close to a stadium. But I never really liked the crowd, so I never, never did go, you know. I'd sit in the comfort of my living room and listen to my radio. What made you fall in love with the silver and black? Just watching them. I mean, you know, I've seen a lot of different games, you know, a lot of different teams, but the, there's something very special about the way these guys move when they're doing their work. And I, it's the first time I ever looked at football as, as, as work, you know, to actually see what you could see what each man was doing and they were faultless. And tonight something really special, Diane, we were just talking about this, right? Your mom has always watched Raider games on the TV, listened to them on the radio, but today in less than 12 hours for the first time ever. First time. You are going to see them inside. In, in the flesh. <laughs> I mean, you have to be excited. Uh, yeah, I am. I am, and I don't see why you are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying that, okay, Helen? And the reason we're excited is because you have such an electric personality, okay? This is so special to meet a Raider fan that's been a fan for decades yeah. and to have this opportunity. I mean, it's just a pleasure to be here with you this morning. <laughs> and we can't wait to see, obviously, what happens tonight. We were talking earlier. Al Davis, the former owner of the Raiders, used to say one term. Do you remember what that was? I just told you about five minutes ago. Oh, yeah, I forgot. When Win. Just win, baby. Yeah, just, 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 just win, win, baby. And we're hoping that happens tonight, yes? Yes, oh, yes. It oh, has yes. to happen. For my first game, I would love to see a win. I would really love, love, love. Come on, guys, do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be their good luck charm. Before we wrap up here, you know what we got to say at the end of this interview, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go Raiders! <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> Oh I think we should change the just win baby to come on guys. Come on guys. <laughs> come on guys. <laughs> just do it. I, I love, love it. it. And join us today at three o'clock for our Raiders pre-game coverage. We'll have live crews all around Southern Nevada getting you ready for the game. I love her.